Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel James Knows Nothing, where you watch a man who knows, well, predominantly nothing about predominantly anything talk about something. So, been a little while since my last upload, soz, I was actually on a date with your mum. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's just get straight into today's video, and today I want to talk about the blue card. So, if anyone has been living under a rock, but I'm sure you've all read the articles, watched the videos, had the discussions. Basically, the IFAB, the International Football Association Board, is scheduled to hold its annual meeting in Scotland in March, and sin bins at the higher levels of the game are listed as a topic of discussion in the agenda. Basically, the IFAB has decided that blue cards and sin bins are something that needs needs to be trialled in, basically I think it would start in the League Cup, then make its way to the FA Cup, and basically has the potential to also enter the Premier League. Sin bins were trialled in non-league football, and just to outline what a blue card is, so obviously in football as we know we have a yellow card, a red card, yellow card is for semi-minor offences, red cards are for major offences. So the blue card has been brought in, and this is according now to the FA website, a player will be shown a blue card and temporarily excluded from the game of play for 10 minutes if they are guilty of unsporting behaviour, if they show dissent by word or action, if they are persistently infringing the laws of the game, delays the restart of play, fails to respect the required distance when play is restarted from free kicks, corners, those sorts of things, if a player re-enters the field of play without permission from the referee and deliberately leaves the field of play without the referee's permission outside of a substitution. For any of these offences, an indirect free kick is awarded to the opposing team to be taken from a place where the infringement incurred if the offence was committed in the penalty area an indirect free kick is taken that could be quite fun let's be honest we don't see many indirect free kicks in football these days but we've all watched the YouTube compilations of Alan Shearer smashing it in from you know five and a half yards out so that could be kind of cool for some context as well the IFAB were the board who implemented VAR so that was a fucking success wasn't it so it's going to take a while the implementation process I think I read somewhere it's not not likely that you could see Sinbins in the Premier League for at least another two or three years. It's going to take a long time for them to work out all the whistles and bells to it. However, the reaction to a blue card, holy fuck, has been bad. It's been awful. From fans, from players and managers as well, there's a lot, a lot of Premier League managers mainly. Ange Postacoglu, Maurizio Pochettino, Jurgen Klopp, they have all come out and kind of just been like, why do we need it? We'll get on to that later. Ange said that basically if your opposition gets a player sent off for 10 minutes, then what is that opposition going to do? They're just going to put 10 men behind the ball for 10 minutes and it's going to slow the game down, which is what is an issue we've already had with VAR. You know, if someone scores a goal, you have to wait for five minutes to get VAR checks, free kicks given VAR check, offside has to be checked so many times and the game has already been slowed down so much by VAR. So then to introduce the blue card will slow it down even more and I think Andrew's completely spot on there. There's not really much else to be said. But yeah, like I said, the, the reactions have just been quite negative towards the blue card system. Remember it's so posh Tino started to question what happens if a goalkeeper gets sent off. Now apparently, apparently, the goalkeepers can still receive blue cards, which again, in my opinion, is just completely, you're, you're now changing the game of football completely because teams are going to basically have to start either preparing to have like, unless you introduce rolling subs so you could have a goalkeeper come on for 10 minutes to replace an outfield player and then when the first team got first choice goalkeeper is then back on the pitch, the second choice keeper can go back off for the player he originally came off on. But again, you're, you're, you're complicating it so much or we have to have outfield players who also train to be in sticks. But again, it's just fundamentally changing the way that football is played, and I just don't think that's right because I don't think that it's a problem. The main issues that the blue card is trying to tackle is dissent. But surely it would make more sense just to, if, if dissent is this big, massive issue in football for referees, then make dissent a straight red. Then you will not see as much dissent occur. But I don't understand why we need to introduce a third card on top of that. We remove a player from the field for 10 minutes because they've had they've shown dissent to the referee. Again, it's just overcomplicating it, it's slowing the game down. Fundamentally, I don't think the game needs it because if you look at sports which do use sin bins, most famously in, in England and in the UK, that being rugby, it's completely different because with football, having a player sent off is a disadvantage, but it's not as much of a disadvantage as it is in rugby. In football, we've seen so many times throughout the years, it's in fact, it's a cliche, a player will get sent off for a team and then the commentary team will go, oh wow, they're actually playing better with 10 men. Having a player sent off won't actually be that much of a punishment or a disadvantage I think. It's more just ruining the game for the fan. Any Premier League team realistically can survive for 10 minutes with 10 men. It's really not that big of a disadvantage. Most teams do okay when 
they have 10 men, it's rare that you see a player get sent off and then all of a sudden that team will, will concede 7 goals. And on the note of this blue card being for dissent, I understand that referees have a really hard job. I'm not trying to dispute that. I don't really see what the massive issue is with football players showing a bit of emotion. Already, because of social media, players are very reluctant to show an emotional side to them because they know that it'll get clipped and uploaded to Twitter and they can get abused, they can get memed, all sorts can happen. Then to say, ah, oh, if a decision goes against you, if you flail your arms and maybe have a bit of a swear, then you're going to get a yellow card and be punished for it. It's like, you kind of want to see that emotion from your team. You want to see that passion brewing, you know? From from a fan's perspective, I don't see, I suppose, dissent. When they're abusing the referee directly, I get that. Again, I just feel like blue cards are more there to scare players from even just being emotional. If a player, I don't know, has a free kick given against them and it goes like that in the direction of the referee, then they get sent off the pitch for 10 minutes. It just seems like a massive overreaction. And also, is dissent really something that we need to be focusing on? Again, I'm saying this as a, a fan, not uh, an official that works within the game. Every single week, it seems, there is always some sort of controversy around an offside decision. Every single week, there's always a, a controversy about a VAR decision. Do we not think that that needs to be sorted first? I don't know why we don't have like automated offside technology in the Premier League already. However, if we're not going to have that and we're going to keep using the system we've got, then do we not think that we need to put all of our energy and resource into getting that fixed and, and helping to speed the game up after it's been slowed down by VAR so much? You know, we need to be thinking about who's in the VAR room, who's checking these decisions and these calls, checking all that kind of stuff before we need to start worrying about getting blue cards involved for dissent and kicking the ball away. And like I said, the fundamentals just of football, if you have a player sent off for 10 minutes, it's not going to affect a team that badly. And like I said, like the, the reaction has just been wholly negative. I'm not really sure where this is going to go. I'm not really sure how this is going to end. I'm not sure whether the, the IFAB are going to rescind their initial plans to get sin bins involved. I don't know. What I will say, though, is that I like the fact that governing bodies of football are looking at rugby and thinking, yes, we need to we need to get some of their shit. Because I agree. Why isn't the clock being stopped in football? Just stop the clock. It's way easier. The, the rugby players seem to have a lot more respect for referees. I think that it should maybe be just the captain is the only player on a football team that can really approach the referee. Um, any sort of swearing, anything like that, and it is a straight yellow, which is kind of what's been happening so far this season, which I think is really good. Having the referees mic'd up so the fans can at least get an insight into how the referee has made the decisions that he's made, and also being able to hear the conversations from VAR to the referees as well, I think would be really useful. Sin bins, it, it's kind of just like, I don't know how much it will work. And I, I'm going to be honest, I've said before that maybe sin bins should be a thing. Now looking at the reaction from the footballing world, and also once you actually start to really think about fundamentally does it work with football, I'm not sure how effective sin bins will be. Rugby, what are rugby? Sin, sin bins? Yeah, we'll do sin bins. We'll do sin bins. Is that going to work? No, but we'll just do it and then it's calm. What do you mean? Fundamentally, it doesn't apply. It's a square peg in a round hole. It's, it's a bit of a short video today, guys, but I just wanted to talk about the blue card rule. I'm, I am going to try and get a few more videos out this week. I know I say that every week, but I have been slack in the last couple of weeks. So I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a good week. Fuck off.